okay guys i'm super excited like as you can see i so much love the outcome of this shot so and uh, if you're yet to see the the pattern drafting of this uh, this beautiful shirt click on the link above or on the description box to go and get your pattern ready and then you come back for here for the same tutorial okay okay M my name is julia rack you are welcome to my channel okay so let's get started so on the table i have my fabric that i'm going to use on this this the fabric i'm going to use you already see it but yeah but let me see let you know <laughs> so this is six years i'm not going to use it all and this is my pattern drafting like i said if you're yet to see the pattern drafting if you're yet to see the tutorial please click on the link below and go and get uh, your pattern ready then you come back here for the sewing tutorial okay so i have already cut out the the, the pieces that i'm going to use so for the tutorial here i'm going to be using a one point uh, one and a half yard of fabric because of my the pocket i'm going to be uh, uh, using okay if you're not adding a uh, pocket to your to your pant one yard if you're my size one yard should be enough for you okay so my hip is uh 40 so if your if your hip is 40 and if you're not going to add um a pocket to it okay use one yard should be enough for you okay but if you are both hip 40 i think you should uh, one and a half yard or one and a half quarter of yard should be enough for you okay so now i'm going to start by cutting not my my fabrics uh before i do that i'm as you can see i'm putting up a heavy object to hold my fabric uh hold the pattern down so it will not be moving around so now i'm cutting out um uh, my my short already this is the back pattern i'm working on the back okay so i'm being fast here because uh there is no point of me slowing down while i'm cutting so i'm and i'm sure you can see it clearly the part where i'm cutting through okay so on um, once i'm done i'm going to move to the uh, the front but before i move to the front i need to uh transfer my dart okay because this shirt has a dart as you can see it on the pattern it has that so i'm going to be transferring my dart to to the main fabric okay so i'm putting back the heavy object as you can see the breeze is blowing off the paper so that is why that heavy object is needed so i'm going to get my pin and pin it so like you see me doing okay i'm going to pin it like that so i can um uh transfer the dart to my fabric so if you are finding it difficult to transfer that to your fabric this is the best option for you to do okay you pin down where your dart start from and then you use your chalk to mark it like the way you see me doing okay so once you have done like that and then you're trying to also from the mid uh, from the waist you also you need to transfer the same they do it the same thing just like you see me doing so once i'm done now i'm going to get my scissors and then i'm going to pinch it from where you are seeing me doing that is the midpoint of my waist so i'm going to make a notch at that point so by the time i'm going to use my chalks to make it visible i will know exactly where the midpoint is even if i forget the other three line the other two dot i will remember where the midpoint is and it's going to be easy for me to get my dart straight okay so the next now is my front pattern so i'm going to be cutting out my pattern the front pattern too and i'm also going to do the same thing like i did at the front uh, at the back by transferring my my dart okay so i've already added joining allowance to this uh a shot while i was uh, drafting i usually i like to do this when i'm uh, drafting so it's best you add your allowances to your shot so you will not forget when you're going to cut it on the fabric okay so like i did i'm transferring my dad like i said i'm going to transfer my dad like i did at the back so i'm fast forwarding it here because i've already did uh, show you the process so there is no need for me to still slow down again and still uh, go through the uh, details okay so now my my cutting is ready my front and back pattern is ready so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to get my pattern master and my chalk so i can transfer all the dots like i said 
as you can see it was very easy for me to trace where my my dart is going to pass so that is what exactly i'm doing here so i'm going to be transferring it just like you see me doing okay i'm working on the back and uh, the next one uh once i'm done from the back i'm going to be working on the front so as you can see it's been uh, transfer all the data to the back now the next is going to be from the front i'm going to be repeating the same thing just like i did at the front and uh, i'm going to turn it and transfer it to the other side okay you know it's two a uh, front and back it has two two pieces okay so that the total of four pieces that we have to make it a uh, short so next once next i'm working right now is my pocket i think i have shown you how to uh, uh cut out the pocket on one of my uh, tutorial on how to make a, a short pant uh, with elastic waistband okay so i think i have done that before so if you're yet to see the tutorial too i'm going to be leaving the link on my description box so, so you can go and check it okay if that's something you want so the next thing i'm going to work on here now i'm going to grab my front uh, uh pieces just like you see me doing okay this is my two front piece if you are going to be cutting out your pocket you need the two front piece and also you need two pieces of uh, fabric just like you see me doing okay you're going to have two pieces see that is two pieces but it's been folded into two so to uh, make it one i cut a rectangle the the length is um um the the length the length is uh, 11 inches okay and then the width is the, um something 32 there about yeah okay so right now i'm going to trim it off from that side just to get exactly curve from because from the side because when you are going to join it uh join your pocket back to your shirt it has to align together that is exactly what i just did okay so the next thing i'm going to do right now i'm going to be uh, cut, uh cu cutting out my pocket opening usually i want a at the end of the day i want to have two inches pocket opening but on the since i'm cutting it direct to the fabric i'm going to be marking uh, 1.5 inches so i will use 0 0.5 to join it to my my shirt okay so don't cut exactly two inches mark 1.5 inches okay so from that point now i'm going to be taking 5.5 inches for the opening and that is the length the length of my pocket how uh, wide i want it to be yes that is what i'm doing right now that is the length and the length you have to make sure it fits with your hand so that is what you're going to determine okay so right now i'm using my french cuff now to make my curve you can use your free hand at this point or you can use any designer that you want to do right now is depend on you okay so me i'm using a french cuff to get my curve so once i'm done i'm going to cut it out you're cutting exactly from where you make your curve okay don't cut deep more than what you uh, cut so that you have um uh allowance to join your 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 pocket back to your or nothing will shut from in you from your pocket let me put it that way so once i'm done i'm going to fold it back like you see me doing so automatically what i did is that i cut um i'm going to be cutting uh both the pocket facing and the pocket back together okay so that is what i'm doing right now so from this up uh, from this point there okay remember i mark uh, i cut at 1.5 inch okay so from this point where i'm touching i'm going to be marking uh mark uh, 1.5 inches outward like you see me doing okay i'm marking 1.5 inch outward from that part where i cut because we need to join that part to the side okay to the side of my shot so use the same curve that you used to create your hip curve do to make that mark just like you see me doing and then once i'm done like that then i'm going to trim off the excess fabric out and then my pockets is ready the f the two pockets is ready okay so the next thing now i need to uh work on the 
I need to show you how to fix your pocket back to your shirt. Okay, I'm going to open it to the right side. Okay, so this at the right side, and I'm also going to be marking uh, my pocket so that you know where the right side and the wrong side is. Okay, so when you're if you make a mistake or maybe eventually if you scatter it so you will know that okay this is the front most especially some fabric that doesn't have a the right side or the wrong side like mine it doesn't have the right side it doesn't have the wrong side so i have to mark it so that i will not mistakenly use the, the wrong side to the right side okay so now uh i'm going to place it like so the right side facing the right side okay right side facing the right side and then i'm going to once this is how i'm going to sew it okay i'm going to place the right side facing the right side and then arrange it proper and then i'm going to be stitching down with 0 0.5 inch allowance like you see me doing okay the same thing is going to happen to the front uh, due to the other pieces okay whatever thing you're doing to the other side you're going to also repeat it on the other pieces okay don't forget this and make sure you mark the right side of your fabric and and also know the the wrong side of your fabric okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing now i'm going to this is uh my back pieces i'm going to be joining the uh first thing i'm going to do i'm going to be working on the that and then this is my zipper part okay this is the part where my zip is going to be so from the back zip when you're going to the uh, what i'm doing here i'm showing you uh i'm i mark two uh 1.5 inches upward okay so from that point there that is where i'm going to be doing top stitching okay but from the other side is where the zip my zip open is going to be okay so from that part where i'm marking I'm marking 0 0.5 inch from this corner that you're seeing me doing right now okay you're going to stitch all the way from this part, uh, part where i mark 1.5 inches upward and then you enter this corner is going to be 0 0.5 inches okay that is where you're going to be having a strong a strong stitching while this one up here where i'm going to be drawing this mark now is where your zip is going to be your zip opening so from this part to that part where 1.5 is, you just straight, uh, you're going to just stop stitch from that 1.5 uh, mark there down to the crouch extension, okay? Yeah, I hope you understand this. So the next thing I'm going to be working on too, I'm going to be stop stitch. My, I'm going to sew the front also from my, my also sew the that. And that is it. So on my table, I'm going to, on my sewing machine right now, I'm, st I'm going to start by joining all my dots together okay so i'm going to be a bit fast here so there is no need to slow down um i i hope you can understand the explanation okay so right now i'm done i'm going to be joining my back pieces together okay just like you see me doing i'm going to be st uh, stitching from that part where i draw out the chalk but uh i'm not going to be top stitch at the waistline because it's just for it's just temporarily stitching because it's not necessary the stitching is not going to be there because at the end of the day it's zip opening okay so i'm going to be stitching it down just to help me to uh, guide me to help from this part i'm top stitching okay and then this is the main part where you need to do a proper stitching okay so the back is ready so the next thing now um I'm moving on to the pocket facing so i'm going to be facing up my pocket so like i said earlier okay place the right side facing the right side okay like you see me doing you're going to repeat the same anything you're doing you're going to do the same thing to the other pieces okay and then you're going to be stitching down with 0 0.5 inch allowance okay don't add more than that 0 0.5 inch allowance so that you will not uh, reduce from your main uh shot okay from your for your for your bodies oh, let me put it that way so i'm going to do the same thing or so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to flip it like you see me doing okay i'm going to first of all go to the ironing table i'm going to iron it to make it look smooth 
and um, what i did here i'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side of my pieces okay or uh, i'm going to go to the ironing table i'm going to iron it flat and then i will come back and show you how the whole thing is going to be okay so i have ironed everything as you can see how neat it is uh unfortunately my fabric you can see proper what i'm doing the fabric is too uh too colorful okay so you can see proper so the next thing i'm doing now i'm closing up my pocket okay you know once you've joined it to the pieces you need to close up from the bottom part so that you will not uh, put anything on your on the pocket and it will fall off so if this is necessary you must close your pocket together okay before you start joining it to them to uh, join your front piece to your back piece so right now i'm done with the pocket so the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be working on the how to join uh my my front piece together okay i'm going to get the front the right side facing the right side like you see me doing okay and uh, yeah right side facing the right side and i'm going to arrange it proper before i start joining it make sure you do so pin or a pin it down okay if you're a beginner or not not even a beginner if you're working on a fabric when you know that the fabric is not stable is is necessary for you to pin it so you this is the most thing, the most half thing you need to have as if as a fashion designer or as a tailor yeah you need pin to work on but some so many people i know they are working they don't use pin and when you check out their sewing it's not straight okay whether you're a professional or you're not a professional you need pin to get your work straight okay so once i'm done pinning I'm going to start joining it with 0 0.5 inch allowance that I kept while I was drafting on the pattern, okay? So, so I'm going to be stitching it down with 0 0.5 inch allowance, okay? So, this 0 0.5 inch allowance is the ones I kept while I was drafting, okay? So, it's better you should not uh, add from your main piece, okay? So the next thing now i'm going to get my front piece and my back piece this is my front piece on the uh, on the table and this is my back piece okay so i'm going to show you how to do it you're going to place the right side uh facing the right side and then you start pinning like you see me doing okay you're going to repeat the same process on the other side whatever thing you're doing for the other side you do the same thing on the both side okay so once you have done um we are going to head to the iron uh, sewing table and then join it with the allowance that you kept while you were drafting on okay so on my machine my sewing machine right now i'm going to start by joining don't add to it rather you reduce from the allowance that you kept so if you know you're working with ankara material okay ankara material doesn't stretch that is okay you can just reduce add from the allowances that you kept okay but since you're working with uh, Ankara, the best option is that if you want to, is that instead of you to reduce, uh, to add from the pieces from your main bodies, just reduce from the allowance that you kept because you're working with um, Ankara material, it doesn't stretch, okay? So right now, if you're still watching to this point, I want to say a very big thank you for watching. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please kindly do so. Subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your post notification so you will not miss out on any of that tutorial okay so once i'm going do, once i'm done i'm going to stop stitch my pocket to my uh, main piece to get that so when i'm going to take the measurement to get my waistband it will not be moving around okay so that is what i'm doing i'm just stitching my pocket to the main piece so it can stay one place okay so once I'm done, I'm going to open the the back uh, from the back. That is the zipper part, the zipper opening. Okay. So from this point I'm touching, I'm going to get my zip uh, my seam ripper, and I'm going to lose it so I can do the other uh, other things that I need to do. So once I'm done, I'm going to uh, I've already cut out my my waistband. Actually, I cut I cut it out off camera so uh i cut the a, a long rectangle okay so right now i'm going to know how many inches i need to cut out 
uh from by taking my the, the round waist measurement actually it was 29 inches okay it was 29 inches i have already prepared my my waistband like i said i did that off camera and i think i have done a several a tutorial on how to do that how to cut out your waistband so yeah so i'm repeating the measurement for you to know i cut out five inches width okay long and on fold is 2.5 inches okay and i've already ironed uh, interfacing to my uh to my waistband so that it can give it that uh, uh, structure okay i cut out 30 inches so the reason why is because i want to uh, top stitch the edge of my my band just like you see me doing okay we um, i cut out 30 inches so i'm going to reduce 0 0.5 inch on the both side then uh by the time i i, I turn it out i'll have exactly 29 inches waistband that i actually got while i was taking the measurement okay so i'm stitching it down with 0 0.5 inch allowance i'm going to do the same thing for the other side of the edge okay so once i'm done i'm going to trim this off then we can move to the next step so guys i'm done and um, right now i'm trimming it off all the rough edges those parts that i don't need i'm going to do for the both side and once i'm done i'm going to turn it out like you see me doing okay turn it to the right side and as you can see how clean and uh, it is so by the time you fix it to your waistband and uh, even though if you uh, if it's, it's going to be inside everything is going to look clean nice and clean okay so the next thing I'm going to be working with right now is going to be the, the hemming part, okay? Remember, I kept 1.5 inches allowance while I was drafting, okay? So that 1.5 inch allowance now, I have folded already. And now I'm going to start joining, uh, the, uh, stitching it down, okay? So uh, I'm going to be repeating the same thing on the other side of my... Uh, of the hemming part okay so this is like uh, you're showing the front and the back so i think this is the front part i'm working with i don't really know but yeah is the both side now i'm working right now so once i'm done the next thing now will not think of fixing our band okay the next is going to be the waistband so i'm going to get my waistband like you see me doing okay i'm going to place the the rough side of the rough side to the waistband itself like you see me doing okay and this part where that this fold is as you can see is face down okay so you make sure you 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 place it uh, to align to the edge of the of, of the zip opening okay i don't know how to explain this but i hope you understand what i'm saying and then i'm going to pin through pin it all through so that we can now join it together or we can now sew it together okay so at this moment if you find anything difficult please or you don't understand anything you can leave your comment below or if the video is too fast you can you have the option to to slow it down to a normal play okay so that you can understand the, the whole process well i think with my explanation here you can also uh, understand and see what i'm doing clear so now i'm done so the next thing um i'm going to start joining it with 0 0.5 inch allowance so remember i cut out my zip my waistband 1.25 on fold okay and i also added one a 0 0.5 inch while i was uh, drafting on the uh, on the pattern okay to my waistband yeah so that is what i'm doing so now we are going to be joining using that 0 0.5 inch allowance that we kept on both the waistband and on the shot so we are joining in now with 0 0.5 inch allowance with that 0 0.5 inch allowance yeah so that is it for the waistband at the moment yes so i'm going to trim off all the the threads i don't need them <laughs> So the next thing now we are going to be closing down the the damn part of our shirt so i'm going to grab the front uh one part of the legs and the other uh, the back one part of the leg like you see me doing that is the crouch uh, right there yes so now we are working on the crouch the, that is the inseam 
okay this is the inseam i don't know how to explain it but i hope you understand what i mean so you're going to get it from that part like you see me doing okay like so and then you're going to start pinning it down make sure you arrange it proper so you can pin it down so when you get to that uh, part where there is join okay make sure you align it together make sure the the line are equal that they are placed right side facing each other equally so that by the time you finish the inside is going to the line the stitching is going to go straight okay so that is exactly what i'm doing So at this point, you don't need to rush it, okay? That is why I slow this this very part down so that you can know the process is not as easy as it looks, okay? So I'm slowing down so that you can see because most time you will not really understand exactly what uh it, what it's been done while you're working on a trouser, okay? So you're going to take your time at this very moment like this. So the next, I'm going to start joining. With 0 0.5 inch allowance okay so once i'm done from now i'm going to head to my overlocking machine i'm going to overlock all the rough edges fix my zip and um yeah i'm going to fix all my zip and uh, that will be it and the next the next video the next the next you're going to see is the fitting so uh i want to say a very big thank you if you're still watching to this very moment thank you so much for watching i will be seeing you on the sewing another uh, tutorial okay bye